It doesn't have to stay in, but it has to be contact. Look here. I don't want this. There's no contact with the ground. Here or here. Let's do five swings. Three. A little bit longer here. Longer. Long. And relax. Two. Now we're going to spend 20 to 30 minutes on one thing, but this is the most important thing. And that's the second part. Mark, what was the second part? Yeah. Go around the left. My wife used to make fun of me and said, What a great job you had. You just keep on for 30 years telling people to go around the left because he's a former discus thrower. And they still can't figure it out when we have having fun and talking bullshit. Then he's always telling them, you know, he's a university teacher. And I'm teaching people about all kinds of biology and stuff. And you just keep on getting paid for teaching people to go around the left. And I think it's a great job. Because I'm always learning from one or every one of you how to go around the left because there are many ways to do it. So we are trying to figure this out. The hardest thing. And that's 
really easy to set. You turn the foot. Yeah. But how do we turn the foot? When you come here, you turn the foot. The first thing that moves is supposed to be the foot. In no case it is useful for you guys. Because you start to turn here. If you turn the foot on the inside of the foot instead of on the outside. Can you remember that? Because most people turn on the outside of the foot. And when you turn on the outside of the foot here, it stops when right leg comes in. And what takes over the throw then? And why do we throw far? It's because we recruit the legs before the upper body. And why is upper body taking over? Because we have much more high uh, twist fibers, fast twist fibers in the upper body. So it's the easiest thing in the world for you young girls to come here and start here. Because you have so much uh, for young people to understand, we have muscle fibers in our body, long, uh, uh, slow fibers, and fast fibers. Okay? Fast fibers are in the upper body much more than the lower body, and that's the reason it's hard to recruit the legs in the throat. It is hard. It's not easy. And for coaches, you have to correct. The first mistake that the athlete does. Because you cannot correct the second mistake if you don't correct the first mistake. And the first mistake is usually done in too fast and uncontrolled backswing. So the coach has to fix the backswing. It's so simple to, to look, ah, it's only four points. Why isn't he talking about 50? Because I'm working with this every day. I'm working with four points every day. I'm going to talk to you about 25. But I'm working with four every day. Just four points. Why should you be working with four? If those four are not done. So, <coughs> take the back swing like the athlete wants to take it in a simple way and go from fast to slow so you can start the left foot turn the right way. Look at me now. I stand here, take the back swing, it's a little fast here, and then it slows down until it almost dies at the end of the swing. Okay? See? Here. Then the foot is like this or like this. It cannot be like this. <coughs> See, how am I going to turn from there? See here? A lot of people do this. <coughs> you lose the contact with the foot. So, coaches. Keep it there, or if you turn it, turn the whole foot like that. My success is all based on this. Am I better than you? No, probably a lot of you guys have much more academic uh, knowledge than me on biomechanics and stuff. Usually it is like that. I'm good on putting the little biomechanics and the little physiology and biology and stuff that I know. I'm not an academic guy. I'm just a coach. And I'm pretty good on putting it together. But should move is the left foot. I know that. And the biomechanics have told me you have to do that. Yeah? Then I coach it this way. You keep contact on the foot 
when discus is in the back swing and then you turn on the inside through the whole foot as far as you can with the heel low okay. the heel is supposed to be low because then when we go in it goes up okay and what i call left axis concentration is swing here turn on the inside and when I, I'm done turning here, there's a line through the body here, up to the shoulder. So, this is turned, weight is on the knee, hip is strong, shoulder is over the hip, and this shoulder is a little bit behind the hip. <coughs> what am I talking about here? Most of you young guys, I, I promise you, I've seen some of you throw. Go here. Look at this. Look at me here. <coughs> Look at this. What? This. Here. Here. Here, turn the foot a little bit less. Maybe on the outside of the foot here. This is 10 centimeters in here, <coughs> in front of the hip. <coughs> but here, this shoulder is over the hip or a little bit behind the hip. What's the difference? I promise you, minimum 5 meters. It's not. 50 cents. It's high meters <coughs> difference. Why? Because if upper body starts to throw, you get no speed of release. And what's the most important? I talked about it here when I was here last time. What's the most important in this case? It's speed of release. You come here. How, how tall are you? What's six foot. Six foot. That's one. What does that mean? If you go here and you go narrow, everybody takes over, you jump up and you lose speed. If you come here, and at the same time as you start to turn this foot here, this one thrusts up on the toe here, and does not move in the circle. It comes here, and here. Daniel does that really well. show you up. Stay down here. A little deeper than usually. And do it down here. Don't go up. Okay? Everybody goes down one to two centimeters. And when you do the drill, do not go up. Just take this here and stay down. Okay? But first, so there's a reason for the top athletes walk like this. Simon, the guy that I took as an example yesterday, has that breakthrough for the last month. Because I, I, I asked him a question. Why is Robert Parkin walking like this in the circle? And Ben Hardy, and in a certain way, Gert also. And he, he's a smart kid. And he answered me, probably because he wants to stop and stay down in the back swing so he can get a better spin into the stop. I couldn't have gotten a better answer. 
You want to test that? I need tested it. And it resulted three weeks later in a huge breakthrough in that we got the left leg down. That all of you are dealing with. I look at you, Marco, yesterday. You have absolutely no separation in the throat because your left leg doesn't come down. You cannot correct that by thinking about getting the left leg down. You have to correct it and stop. <coughs> same reason. I tested the same thing on him. He's two more center ball, and he was up here, and then there was this huge sink, and, and like kind of jerked around uh, when he came around. I said, sit down here, stay down here, and feel comfortable. And he, he did it like this. And then he started to swing, he said, that does feel okay. Yeah. How many centimeters are you deeper? I probably just one. It's not five. Just here. So instead of doing this and this, then here, you're going to go a little bit up and down. But try to stay a little bit, one centimeter more down than you usually are. That's not as for much. Both guys have resulted in getting the left leg much earlier down in the pole. Simple stuff. So, we're going to go through it again. Here, one centimeter deeper than you usually are. You're going to turn the left foot on a strong hip and take this knee and, and lift the heel straight this way. A little bit to the right of your of, of yourself. Here. Okay? Do that five to ten times. And you stay down when you do it. This is what I've been talking about all morning. This pitch. He does that really, really well. Just turn the foot and just thrust this one out. So the knee is going out here without turning this foot. And you see, the shoulder is here. The shoulder is not here. The hip is in front of the shoulder when you have turned the foot, and this one is going up. This is very, very, very good. Does he know all this? No. Yeah. So this is going to be here. He's going to turn the foot. And then this one is going to come at the same time. Yeah. See? He's pulling everything. You're pulling everything. Relax here. I'm going to let it go now. And you're going to hold it yourself. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. See? You're turning this foot in, in the ring. You're not supposed to do it. Just come here. Yeah. Don't go out. Stay down. Yeah? Turn this foot. And then come here. Okay? And then you do that in the seat. Yeah. Earlier. Yeah. A typical young man that wants too much to earn. Relax. Relax. Here. And go here. Yeah, but. 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 Okay. Here go. Okay. Now, next step. You go with me. Here, here, and now in the next one, we go here. Yeah. What are we going to do here? Look at here. I come, turn the left, this one comes here, arm is back, this one is in front. And when we turn, we're going to turn with the left foot, and sweep with the right leg. We're not going to do it with the upper body. So when you land here, there, upper body is going to be like this. See? Upper body is still here, not here. So test that out on your own. So here, do like three turns. One, two, 
and on the three, you come here, and then the arms are back, Marco, with your stance. And we throw one, two, three, and then nine. Okay? Again, one, two, three, and next one, we do 180. Okay, go back. And I give you a signal. We do one, two, three, and four. We do one. Here, I turn the left. At the same time as I turn the left here, here, this one comes here. Here. That's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to do the late Arabius drill. He's one of my guys. He found this thing here. I think it's pretty good. Put the fingers on the top here or on your back. And the, your fingers here on this one. Okay? Then, you take a little swing. And when you turn the left foot, you do this. And my secret to you is when the right leg comes here, you cannot stop and break the left. It has to pop around. You cannot go here. There's a difference of three to five meters. You have to be super strong. Yeah, that's the reason you have time to throw like this. Yeah, super strong. Then you turn, the sequence of the right comes out here, and when right leg comes off the ground, you have to be strong in the calf muscle, knee and hip, and don't give away when right leg comes here. You cannot do it like this. You lose five minutes. That's what is my strength. This part. This part is the biggest thing be behind my success. Exactly this what I'm telling you now. Turn. You have this move. Hold here and hold here. When we start the turn of the left, we push the right out. And when the right comes off the ground, we go around this hip. Here, but not across the hip. Number one, number two, I would rank this number one to ten in what we do. Just this part that I'm talking And I'm going to really try to get this in with the youngsters here tomorrow. You're gonna do it.